Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading. I do have a bit of a, a sore throat, but we're going to get started. So I'm going to pull you an angel card. So what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for 2021. What is the message for Aries? <laughs> So I have be assertive. It's a year of being assertive, taking action. Lovely energy. Okay, Aries, so I'm going to shuffle the cards and then I will lay out 12 cards on the table, which pretty much works out one for each month to see the general energies. Okay, message for Aries, please. 2021 angel spirits guides what do we have for our lovely aries 2021 please <clears throat> i'll do one more shuffle okay aries so i'm just going to choose the cards we have the Page of Wands, this is January, February, we have the Death card, March, the Fool, wow, two major arcana already, April, the Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords is May, Six of Cups is June, July we have, I've pulled two cards for July, interesting, because the Queen of Wands is Aries and I have the star, it's interesting that I pulled two there and it's your card that came out, so that is July, August, the world, wow, we have two of Wands, again that's Aries energy, September, October, the lovers, Ten of Cups, Aries, this is beautiful, and December, I've pulled two cards, <laughs> again, um, we have the Six of Swords and the Two of Swords there, Aries, so those are your cards for the year, so let's go through them. January, right off the bat, we have fire energy. So the page of wands can be news, good news. Feel like the good news is coming your way. Can also be you taking action towards a new path. Can be opportunity coming in, messages, news, information to do with some kind of opportunity. But this wand promises growth, it's really exciting. So, and remember the pages are the beginnings of change, the beginnings of something new. Powerful energy. It feels, it feels, because we have February, February is the death card. So, there is a metamorphosis happening here. The death card is transformation, deep transformation. It can be about endings. It can be to do with deep change in your circumstances. Um... But you know, it is a card of shedding old skin. It's time for you to almost kind of like purge what needs purging, what you don't carry with you, because it definitely feels in this transformation. You are the phoenix rising, rising from the ashes of the old. But remember, the phoenix actively destroys the old in order to herald the new in. So the death card can be about endings. It can also be about deep change and metamorphosis. It could be to do with some news coming to you in January or some opportunity coming to you in January that is bringing powerful change or by the actions that you take. There's sometimes this can be about an idea, a thought that you're taking action towards, some inspired thought, I'm going in this direction. It is bringing some deep transformation in your circumstances for some of you. Like I said, can also be about endings. So we have the full card, March. So powerful new beginning, 
right next to the card of endings and change and deep change in your circumstances. The Fool is take a leap of faith on a new path, new chapter. It's a card of optimism, real optimism. And it's interesting that it comes after the death card because this fool carries no baggage. It's ready to embrace new horizons, new chapters, new phases, next level up, call it what you will. It is taking that chance, taking that leap of faith in a new direction, new beginnings. So powerful, powerful energy here, Aries. Uh, April, you know, March, April. And, you know, I kind of see this as, as Aries sometimes um, because, you know, it is the beginning of the major arcana and Aries is the beginning of the zodiac and we have it in March. So it's quite powerful for you. Three of Pentacles again. I've got Mars in Capricorn here. Mars is your ruler. Being very productive. Now, this is very good in terms of money and career. The Three of Pentacles is the beginnings of success. It can be building foundations, solid foundations upon which to build upon. It's a great card of teamwork, collaboration as well. Sometimes, you know, maybe if you're setting up your own business or doing a project with somebody, you know, it's a really good card of success or the beginnings of manifesting success. Um, can also be about prioritise, prioritising the tasks at hand. Um, but it's a lovely, lovely energy here, Aries. It is a card of the beginnings of success here, very good in terms of money and career, being very productive. So, so, so we have May, which is the Seven of Swords. Now, Aries, this can sometimes be about deception, lack of truth. I mean, we know there's levels to this card. It can also be about self-sabotage, holding yourself back. Um, I mean, there's levels to this. Like I said, sometimes we make small excuses, put things off. So it can be a bit of that energy as well. It can also be Aries, you know, the Seven of Swords, where you're secretly putting a plan into action. So sometimes, for example, and I'm not saying this is the only example, but it might well be for some of you, if you were job hunting, for example, it would be that you're secretly not letting, letting anybody know what you're doing in your current place of work because obviously it would have ramifications and it's that kind of energy you're just secretly putting something into action so that might well be resonating for some of you as well it can be about self-sabotage too or some kind of deception lack of truth so the six of cups and we come to june now june this is a reconnection energy so you might be it might well be in terms of reconnecting with people or person that you've known from the past. Might be coming back into your life. And remember, this could be in terms of love. This could be in terms of friendship. Could be old family members um, that you hadn't seen for a long, long time. Can also be to do with work colleagues, you know. So there's a reconnection, revisiting the past energy with this. Um, but this can also be a card of equilibrium, finding your happy place, finding your happy joy. Sometimes this can be about looking back, you know, uh, looking back rather than forward. So you might find between these two energies here, I mean, self-sabotaging, looking back, you know, there may well be some link there between May and June in terms of whatever's coming your way. Um, it feels like there's an energy of going really, really forward and then maybe, you know, feeling a little bit kind of like set back in some way shape or form but you know like I said this six of cups can also be about finding your inner joy your inner happy equilibrium it's a really lovely energy so, so Aries and I'm saying that because this is the new this is the new world energy the the star energy with the queen of wands which is you so this is somebody who takes decisive action is in their power they're a leader, a natural born leader. So there's a great energy of taking the lead, being in your power, certainly in July. Uh, whatever's gone on here, good or bad, to be honest, I definitely feel it's leading towards something wonderful because the star is the divine wish fulfillment, divine blessings. But it's also about where there's hope. You're taking to action towards new hope. Uh, this is a card of dare to dream because you are being blessed by the universe. It's a lovely energy of, of don't lose hope, don't lose faith, can be a card of finding new directions and new vision. And remember, there's new growth with the star and you're being told to believe in miracles because that person, they walk on water. 
So there's an energy of don't forget, don't lose hope. Believe in miracles because miracles do happen. You are being given blessings in July. So lovely, lovely energy there. The world card. This is a card of, of completion of cycles sometimes, but the world card is also incredibly powerful. It is the end of, of it is an end of a cycle, but it's also a card of accomplishment, winning through, being successful. It's a great card of worldly success as well, Aries. So there may well be some real accomplishment, real victory, real, real win for you uh, come August time. Uh, such a powerful, powerful energy, very good in terms of material success. Um, but it's where you're, you might be drawing a line into something as well and stepping into a new phase of your life, putting whatever situation has gone on behind you, maybe overcoming some. Uh, sometimes it can be about winning through, so overcoming whatever you've been up against here. But it definitely feels like a powerful success and victory card for you here. Lovely energy. Two of Wands, and this is September. You are in your power again. <laughs> and, you know, I, I do see Aries energy a lot through this reading, Aries and Mars energy. Um, so it feels really powerful. You know, certainly here I've got the fire energy. I kind of see you with the fool. Certainly with the three of, of pentacles, there's a lot of Aries and, and fire energy throughout this reading. So again, this Two of Wands, I mean, this can be about life choices, life decisions, being at a crossroads, it can be a choice between two opportunities as well. But the world is in your hands. And it's interesting that it's right next to the world card. So I really am feeling that whatever this new direction is, new vision, new dream here, Aries, it feels like there is some win, some accomplishment for some of you. Um, certainly across these three months here, and the world is in your hands. There's a feeling of being empowered and ready to step into unknown territory or bring expansion into your life. You know, this can be about expansion as well, uh, making life choices, decisions that are right for you. So very empowered energy, this card. Really beautiful. And remember, the ones is all about growth. Where do I see my growth long term? Where do, I mean, there's a, quite a bit of visionary cards going on between July and September. A lot of vision going on. Um, so you might be doing some thinking, rethinking, setting out your plan for the future, reconsidering where you're going. Um, but yeah, there is definitely growth, the beginnings of growth and success here. Now, the lovers we have here, which can be about choices and decisions as well. This can be in terms of love, romance, relationships. Um, it can also This can also represent love. Um, kindred spirits so um, perfect match energy you know where two people perfectly matched each other so this can be in love romance relationships areas it can also be in things like partnerships so business partnerships project partnerships um, that kind of energy so the lovers I mean it's a, such a lovely energy it's talking about a union. You can see a union there and there's a mountain in the middle. There's a number of meanings to this card, but it's kind of like the union of this is there's there's nothing that you can't overcome. So it feels a really powerful energy. Like I said, can be linked with decisions, choices, but it being right next to the, the Ten of Cups, I mean, it might well be there is some maybe decision or choice here in these months. Um, where you're considering maybe going to the next level in a relationship or you might be meeting somebody that has the potential to be with long term because the Ten of Cups is the Happy Ever After card, the Rainbow of Blessings. It's the card of success, happiness, elation, contentment, the Happy Ever After card. You can see the two people there as well. You know, they are the perfect match. They have complementary colours. Even the children wear complementary colours. So it is almost, it's all kind of like mirroring, mirroring, finding somebody who mirrors you perfectly. And, you know, there is that wonderful happiness, joy, goal achievement, you know, feeling very much content in terms of home, family, relationships. This can also be a card of finding your happiness. If you're not in a relationship, 
Um, it can also be about finding what makes you really happy, fulfilled, joyous. We have the ideal home, the wonderful setting, the luxury that surrounds these people, affording and working towards and being productive to bring in all this success. So there is an energy of happiness to do with that too. Really lovely energy. So in December, Aries, we have the Two of Swords, which can be about indecision. Um, and then we have we have the Six of Swords. So there's an energy with the Six of Swords of, of it's interesting because whatever you're in, undecided about, I feel certain with the Six of Swords, you're going to get clarity. So it's either something is making you or keeping you feeling stuck or you can't make a decision or choice and that's what I'm feeling. But the message is that it's going to, it seems to resolve itself because we have the Six of Swords where somebody's moving from choppy waters to calmer waters. So any troubles or any, you know, rough patches that you might have experienced here, it feels like you're detaching from them and moving forward. So it feels like a really powerful energy here. I mean, this can be where you're putting difficulty behind you and it feels like whatever lack of clarity you've had, I definitely feel that you're going to get the clarity here. Again, this is Aquarian energy, which is about visionary, clarity, direction. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm heading. You know, so I kind of feel that even though you might feel a little bit stuck, it doesn't seem to really last too long to the point where you find a solution on how you need to move forward, put a plan in place, put a strategy in place and move from difficulty to calmer waters. Now, the Six of Swords says you're not quite out the water yet, but you're going in the right direction when that happens. So it's a really lovely energy of detaching from what's gone and moving towards calmer waters. There's better times ahead. So it feels like a really beautiful, beautiful energy here, Aries. And the overarching energy, and I understand why this has come out now, certainly from the cards on the table, is be assertive because this is a time. I definitely feel that this is a year of action, of progress, but definitely you having that world in your hand and making of it what you will. Definitely feeling those energies very powerfully. So Aries, that is your reading for 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful year for you Aries and I will see you next time. Thank you.